and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K. And today we're going to tell you how to ship beer. No. Around what? We're not shipping beer. We're shipping yeast samples and glassware. That's right. We don't ship beer. Ever. No, shipping beer is prohibited in the USPS Postal Service. We would never do anything like that. And we don't condone you shipping beer. Um, however, you do. You can ship liquid sometimes. The U.S. Postal Service. Postal Service. I'm yes. sorry, that just USPS. stuck in my brain. USPS. <laughs> so, um, it is uh, prohibited in some states to ship um, beer. Um, true. However, true. it's fine to ship yeast samples, glassware, um, liquid yeast samples with hops. Yep. Barley, water. You can describe a beer. Right. On the manifest, but you cannot say. Yeah, as beer. long as you're sending those ingredients, right? Yes, uh, and you are in fact sending those gre ingredients. So, because this is a Kentucky brewery and all we have is beer laying around, this is That's what true. we're going to pretend to wrap. This can work for any kind of liquid. Uh, yeah. We're going to show you guys how to properly ship uh, a liquid or bottle or drink. A bottle of water. And there uh, is a right way and a wrong way to do it. So you can use any any postal service you want, FedEx, UPS, mm -hmm. DHL. Uh, Whoever you uh, want. The Carrier Pigeons United. Uh, USPS is the cheapest, however, they also are the roughest on package. They are pretty tough. Um, so we're at, what we have here is a medium flat rate box. So uh -huh. I generally ship uh, liquid um, through uh, to anybody. I use these medium flat rate boxes. They cost 13 bucks. Uh, generally, you can get um, six cans and two bottles of whatever beverage or mm -hmm. soda you're shipping. It's not too bad. And it um, doesn't cost $13. It costs $13 to ship. The yeah. box is free. Yeah, the box is free. That's the best thing about these. These boxes are free. Um, so you can get the boxes for free. However, the packing material is not. So one thing you don't want to do when you're shipping a package of liquids, doesn't matter if it's in a can or a bottle, um, is just throw it in the box and then yeah. seal it up. Just, just throw it in there and say, so long, suckers! And another uh, thing you, you want to do is, not, is you don't want to just wrap uh, the package up with, um, like, just bubble wrap and throw it in there either. Uh -huh. so, um, it, it's preferable to ship cans, but you can ship bottles, and if you do ship bottles, it's important that you protect the corners of the packages. So when you ship, you have stuff like this regular, you can use newspaper. Yeah. But you can get these, make sure we've these got, are, We've got craft paper. So we're make sure this is on the sides of the package all the way around. And then uh, once that's in the bottoms, and then something on the top. Mm -hmm. Now the way um, I ship it, I don't put anything on the bottom and top, and I'll show you why. So this is my finished product when it's all wrapped up and ready to go. Oh, that looks nice. So this is looks a can, nice. uh, liquid, Mountain Dew, whatever you want. Uh -huh. um, so Just what for I the do sake of argument, this is a Mountain is Dew. Is I get these flat rate envelopes right here. These, uh -huh. are, these are also free. Yeah. Um, you can pick them up for any post office. They will also deliver flat rate boxes and envelopes to your house five at a time for free. I did not know yes. that. Yeah, you order them off the website, they don't cost you, they'll drop them off during regular mm -hmm. bill delivery. Yeah. Now here's the best thing about these envelopes, feel that. Yeah, it's Tyvek, isn't it? It's waterproof. It's, it's waterproof. So, why do we put our liquid in waterproof packages? Uh, to make it not leak? I'm gonna guess. So, gonna if guess. one were to rupture, um, it will not leak everywhere in the room in the package. Good idea. So, another thing that I do normally that I did not do in this box, I line the box with the trash bag. Uh-huh. Um, I'll line the whole box with the trash bag and then load everything into the trash bag and close the trash bag on top of it. It's just an extra layer of protection in case that box leaks. It's a very involved process. Yeah, it is. It, it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to do it right. So this is the process for a can. Literally, I take the can, drop it in the envelope, make sure it's centered. Now you can also do this with like Kroger or Winn-Dixie like grocery bags. Yeah. They work enough. just as fine if you can't get a hold of these envelopes. These are pretty. So, and then I just take it from the bottom, make sure it's centered, and I just mm. roll it up. Like a like a delicious liquid burrito. And then I take the uh, sticky off and whoop, just like that. Uh -huh. Now the reason I don't put any bubble wrap on the top or bottom is because I have these squishies there. So I have I already have my pre-packed material on the, top and bottom. Official term for it, the squishies. squishies. Yeah. So okay. It's chocolate I was just curious. So now I can when I put this in my this is very tightly packed. Yeah. I'm gonna very tightly packed box. So when I put this in here, obviously I'm gonna put bubble wrap on it. It's gonna be protected on top uh -huh. and bottom. And the it's bubble got a wrap. Got a little bit of give both directions. You notice we put bubble wrap Good on choice. these, mm -hmm. and this bubble wrap protects it from the other cans in the area, and it gets adds some additional protection. Yeah. Um, you can also instead of bubble wrap, you can use this stuff. It works okay. Yeah, that's double, all right. Double it up if you use yeah. this over bubble wrap. Bubble um, wrap is far better than the that. The best thing about this, it's free. It, this fridge came wrapped in it. Uh -huh. This is enough packing material to ship a ton of stuff. So, which opposed to buying bubble wrap, which costs money. I always save packing materials when they're shipped just because yeah. I'm cheap. Whenever I order stuff off, I do order a lot of crap off Amazon. So, uh, bottles are the exact same process. Um, here's a bottle, uh, same thing. Uh, however, if you do do a bottle, I would 
add an additional layer of protection. So on top of, we drop it in our envelope just like we did our beer, we wrap it up and then I wrapped it in bubble wrap. But if you notice on the top here, um, there's not as much protection. I'm so, noticing that. So what I would do uh, on this one is sometimes I will add, like on this one, add an additional piece of bubble wrap right here. Mm -hmm. That way it protects Over the top. it. Good choice. Protects it from uh, breaking or being damaged. So um, these steps are important if you want to ship anything because I can tell you that more often than not, when we get stuff shipped to the show, um, there at least, at least I would one say, thing has to be broken. I would say the last four or five packages we had, we had at least one or two beers broken. Yeah. Uh, and this will solve all those problems. So. Um, this is how we ship all our beers out, exactly like this, and I've yet to have one break. So. Well, postal service is a little bit tough on our packages. I would say it'll solve most of your problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, don't be scared to get it nice and nice, nice and, and tight in there. That's snug. Yeah. So if you do a lot of bottles, uh, I, you can't when a medium flat rate. Um, you cannot stand the bottles upright. They have to be on their side. It is sad. Um, and keep in mind that it's going to get thrown every which way anyway, so it doesn't uh -huh. matter. Um, so when you do do the bottles, uh, you can lay them on the side, but make sure, again, you add extra wrapping. And you can stack them up like a pyramid on their side. Yeah. But again, like I said, it's important to add Craft extra. paper in all the gaps. Yeah. Just to keep it from moving around. So the nice thing about flat rates is they do not, uh, they can be a little bulgy. They don't care. Mm -hmm. If it fits chips, weight doesn't matter. So when I close this up, I make sure it's taped all the way around. So when I tape this box, I do the normal tape, but I also tape around all the corners. All the seams. Again, in case of uh, leakage. Yeah. So, and then I slap fragile stick on here. Or you can write fragile on it. All that means is I'll probably kick it harder. They don't care. Yeah. Oh. So hopefully at some point somebody might say, hey, that's fragile. Maybe I shouldn't put this on the very bottom. You know? They might. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> I'm joking. They may do that. Uh, um, so that that in a nutshell is a good way. Like I said, everything I have in this box right now, as far as packing materials, everything was free. I didn't pay yep. anything for any of these packing materials. These envelopes, like I said, were free. This stuff came in Amazon packages. These envelopes I got from the post office. Uh, bubble wrap you can buy for a roll of it, but again, I just... Save you can also up. just buy lots of stuff on Amazon and reuse the bubble right, wrap. Right, that's the best way to do it. So it cost me nothing to ship this package and uh, just to make sure it's packaged right. Nothing's going to get damaged. Right. So, uh, but if you guys have any questions in the description down below, you can let us know. And remember, shipping beer is prohibited. It is. Uh, in certain states. Um, you are shipping yeast samples. Yeah, shipping uh, sodas and yeast samples and glassware and barley and malt and hops. Those are all fine. So if you're a home brewer, all that stuff's fine to ship. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's been our episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.